what I think makes the LSE Environment and Development degree unique is that you're going to get different takes on the environment from different disciplinary perspectives. Um, our department is quite dynamic. We have some of the leading environmental economists in the world sitting together along, uh, sitting together with some of the top human geographers. And you're going to be taught courses from all of these scholars. The typical student of this degree, it's of course really hard to pin down um, because the environment is such a fast evolving subject area. But what unites all the students is their interest in the environment. And everybody's going to come at it from different angles and be interested in different perspectives and different takes on the environment. But we all come together in the classroom and try to figure out um, how different disciplines might approach the environmental policy issue and try to come up with different pros and cons for going forward. We're looking at how policies impact and play out at different scales. So we're not just interested at the global level, but we're also interested in understanding how policies play out on the ground. But of course, learning at LSE um, extends far beyond the classroom because you're sitting at, in London, in the heart of the city, and right down the street from some of the leading environmental policymakers in the world. We encourage our students and work quite closely with the LSE Careers Department to set up internship programs for our students so that you can actively involve in debates. With a degree in environment and development, you're equipped to work in multiple different career paths. So some of our students do go into investment banking and management consulting, but a lot of folks go and work for NGOs, or work for the government in development aid agencies. Or perhaps you'll work in corporate social responsibility or environmental management and planning in a company. So you're well equipped to work in multiple roles across different sectors. It's just a fast evolving topic area um, relevant to many sectors of society and you just don't get bored studying the environment.